What's up everyone? Welcome back to the EDC Paradox. Today I'll be doing a pocket dump and going over the gear that I have been carrying with me every day. First is just my cheap earbuds. These were Vivitar. They were cheap, like 15 bucks. I have used them pretty much every day since I got them though. They are, they're decent for the money. I'm definitely going to upgrade sometime soon. There's a few I've been looking at. The next item is this Tesla coil lighter. This thing is very fidgety and lights every time. The next item that I have been carrying for probably the better part of six months is this Kodiak Cub. It's a 1000 lumens flashlight from Walmart. For a budget little flashlight like this, it is very powerful and I've enjoyed it. Haven't had any issues with it. It holds the charge pretty well. And the next item is my wallet of choice. And it is a very minimalist style wallet. Just the one pocket there for your cards and ID and stuff. And then this little elastic band on the back here for some cash. And that is plenty for me. That is all I need. I don't carry much cash and I only have a few cards and my ID. And next is my keychain here. I'm going to take my key off. I, uh, I'm getting some stuff here soon for a better carabiner for this. It is a, a little tiny telescopic pin from True Utility. And I have enjoyed carrying this on my keyring now. I don't have to try and remember to bring a pen with me or anything. I also have this little uh, titanium pry bar here from Bang TI. And it also has this Olight IR2. And it is USB-C rechargeable. Just a little keychain flashlight twist for two different settings, bright and low. And again, I, I like this setup a lot here. For my keys, at least. It has come in handy, and I don't have to try and remember a pin or a flashlight if I don't want to, because I always have those on hand. Next is this... Civivi Imperium. It is Nitro V blade steel and it's a shredded carbon fiber and silver handles right there. I like the look of it. Blade steel is nice and you can reverse flick the hell out of it with the uh, thumb studs and it's got a front flipper. I'm not very good at the, the front flip thing. Nope, not even going to attempt that again. But this knife is its amazing. The action is good. The blade holds an edge very well. And I have been using that knife for a couple months now. Almost every day. The newest piece that I have gotten is this Kershaw Livewire. It's a OTF out the front. Automatic knife. I uh, immediately changed this pocket clip to left hand carry. I'm going to use this with my left hand here. And that is that is very, very easy to get that get that blade firing. This knife is awesome. It's a 20 CV blade steel. And the action is super smooth and easy to deploy. 
and I uh, yeah switched that pocket clip because I wanted to carry it in my left hand pocket and make this my backup and also just a fidget fidget type knife well put this. and I I enjoy it I enjoy it a lot uh, my watch it is a Casio Duro that I got on sale. I think it was like eleven or fifteen dollars, something like that. And for a pretty decent dive watch, that that is a hard price to beat. I've been wearing this watch for the better part of six months now, and it's it's very rugged, very durable. And I have not really had to adjust the time. Not yet. But there is my EDC setup. For now at least. I have, like I said, a couple more pieces of gear coming for my uh, keychain setup. Right here. I wanted to get a uh, titanium carabiner. And uh, some more titanium uh, key rings so that this right here stops happening with this magnet stop grabbing hold of it, everything on my keychain all right that'll do it for this pocket dump i hope to see you guys on the next one remember to like comment and subscribe thank you